Hey guys, how's it going? So today I will be planting up a bunch of Asiatic lilies in two spots of my garden. And the first one I'll show you is right behind me here. Um, let me turn you around and show you what's going on. All right, this is kind of what we're dealing with here. You can see my shadow. Hi. <laughs> um, okay, so this was an absolute pigsty when we first got back. Um, for those of you who don't know, we just moved to this house. Um, my husband owned it, and then two weeks after we got married, we moved. So the last five years, we've just had renters. So we just moved back. Nothing was done with the landscaping during the last five years. So everything was overgrown. It was a mess. I'll show you a clip of what this looked like beforehand. Um, the arbor was ripped down. The wisteria was ripped out. It was just a mess. So I got the arbor back up and the wisteria actually ended up growing back. So I spent a good hour trying to twist the wisteria back up into the trellis. Um, there was a currant bush kind of right where my shadow was. We ripped that out. It was choking out this rose bush right here. It's a campfire rose. I have two on each side. Um, and honestly, they're not doing super duper well, but they were being choked out by just a bunch of stuff. So I cleared that. I spent some time weeding. As you can see, there's a few more weeds that need to get dealt with. Um, we need fresh mulch, but I wanted to get these lilies planted because they've been sitting um, by my house for the last couple of weeks. So I thought I would plant them up for you today and let's get started. Okay, I am done planting the lilies in this flower bed. So let me show you um, where I put each lily and how they look. So, so here on each corner, there and over there, I planted the Lily Lux Bloom Extension Pink. And I think it's gonna be really cool because right next to it has beautiful pink and 
yellow flowers called a campfire rose. So I thought that this pink lily would match it perfectly. And then on the inside, these two there, I planted the Lily Looks Tiny Crystal, which is a beautiful white lily, which I think really pops in this area. And then around back here, I actually planted two little itty bitty lilies called Lily Looks Tiny Moon, which is this really pretty peachy color. Um, but they have a, <laughs> they have a ways to grow still. So this is normally a pretty sunny spot. Um, and Asiatic lilies like full sun to partial shade. So, um, pretty sunny spot. So I think they'll do really well here. I have, I think six more lilies <laughs> that I was going to cram in here, but Asiatic lilies, every year they come back, they are a perennial and they multiply. So every year they come back, they're going to be fuller and just fill in the space a lot. So I didn't want any colors to get choked out if there's more an aggressive color than another one. So I took six of the colors out, all different colors, or six lilies. I have three colors, two of each color. Um, so I took six lily plants out and I need to figure out where to plant them. So that will be coming up in a future video once I figure it out. I have some more shady areas that I might plant them in. So it'll be really interesting to see how the ones in more full sun do compared to the partial shady areas. Um, but anyways, that's it for this video. Please stay tuned for more. I have a bunch more projects that I'm going to be filming today. So if my next few videos, <laughs> I'm wearing the same outfit. That's why they were all filmed on the same day. So thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.